Hey everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to go through the process on how to get a tune file on your Power Vision 3. Before proceeding, I highly recommend that you ensure that your Power Vision 3 has the latest available firmware. You can find support videos on how to update your Power Vision 3 firmware. There are three different methods. I recommend method one as it does work on Windows and Mac computers. Also, before proceeding, it is required that you have a valid PV info file. And to do that, you would have plugged in your Power Vision to your supported vehicle and turned the key on and the engine run switch to the run position, but do not start. After a few seconds, you can turn the key off and take your Power Vision back to your computer. Plug it in via USB. It will mount as a USB thumb drive. Right here. Again, this will work on Windows or Mac. You'll notice we have a PV info file. Just double check it for it being complete. You've got your version of firmware, the vehicle. Um, pair information and the connected vehicle information. This file, this PV info file, essentially has the information about the device, your Power Vision 3, and the vehicle at this point. So from here we go to DynoJet and we'll go straight to Tunes. Click here to download Power Vision 3 or CX Tunes. It's required that you type in your email. And you'll also choose file. So I'm going to go down here to my Power Vision PV Info File folder and select the PV Info.txt. Now I have the required file, my email. I'll hit submit. Now you'll notice that I have files that are available to download the STK file and the DJT file. You can simply click on each one of them, depending on your web browser, it should download and save them. I can show in folder. These files must stay together. If you're confused about the file types for the DinoJet Power Vision 3, also watch a support video on Power Core file types. But in this case, we're going to highlight each file. I can hold the control key, left click stock and DJT or STK and DJT. I can right click and say copy. Back over here to my Power Vision drive, right click, paste. That's all there is to it. Of course, if there were other available tunes for different modifications, you could select any number of DJTs, which are the tune files. They will not function without this requisite STK file. So make sure that that file gets on the Power Vision 3 as well as any selected uh, tune file. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.